boxing is a sport you either love or you don't love. And if you love it, it never gets out of your blood. It never gets out of your blood. You've got kids on the street running riot. You've got kids in school bullying. And I like to spend a lot of my time in my gym with these children and trying to persuade them not so much to come into boxing, but to come into sport and to stop the bullying, stop the nastiness, stop breaking up Cumbran, you know, and making our, our little village, our town, new town, making it something to be proud of. Every Monday, Wednesday, I'll do 12, 14 rounds on the pads with the boys. I just love going in there with the boys. I love to teach them how to, how to throw punches. And at the same time, they do me a favour. They don't realise it, but they do me a favour. They keep me fairly healthy. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I suppose I should be sat in the armchair, should I? I really do, but I don't think so. You know, they, I boxed from the time I was 11 till I was 28. Uh, then I decided that enough was enough. I had 130 odd contests. So I packed the boxing in, took up coaching. And with the Newbridge Club and this club, I've had 159 Welsh Champions. You know, so I've had a lot of Welsh Champions, as you can see on my wall. Uh, so if I have a Welsh Champion this year, I'd be chuffed, same as I was the first time. i got a young lad here now. Uh, he's been with me for 18 months. Didn't want to do nothing. Just went to school, much if he could. But since he's been in the club, his teachers have actually wrote a letter to his mum and dad and saying how much he himself has improved and how much respect he's got for everybody. Well, that's boxing, isn't it, Ben? That's boxing. You know, you go into a boxing ring and you're on your own. Okay, you go to your corner, men, but they can't come in that ring with you. All they can do is talk to you. As simple as that. But when you're in that ring on your own, you respect that person you're boxing. And uh, so, for the want of a better word, you're boxing today, and if you live long enough, 60 years time, you're still big friends with them. It's all down to boxing, it's all down to boxing. You meet such good friends, good people, uh, people who want to help, people who doesn't, don't want to go out on a Saturday night and get drunk and fight everybody. You know, they go out, they have a few beers, enjoy themselves, go home. Right? And I, th I think that's my philosophy of boxing. You know, you make good comradeship, get self respect yourself, and respect everybody else, which, you, which I think you do. You know, uh, I, I was taught by, by a master, you know, Mr. Fred Taylor in New York. And even now, people talk about Mr. Fred Taylor. And he died when he was 93. And five days before he actually died, he was at my first show in Pondered Work once. Sat in the front row telling me what to do with my voice. And I, I took notes of him, you know, because I had that much respect for him. If he said me, Tell him to throw left hand. <laughs> I, I tell him, you throw left hand, Mr. Taylor told you. So that's it. I was up in the Rwanda about two years ago, and a chap like myself, grey hair, old, came across and said, How are you going, Keith? I said, Well, how are you? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm great. You don't know me, do you? I said, Well, I've got to be honest with you, I don't know you, to be truthful. I said, But don't we all get old? You know, that was a conversation. He said, you beat me three times in the World Cup Championship Finals. And I hadn't, I hadn't seen him from, from the time I was 17 till then. And that was two years ago. Again, respect for each other. I, can't, I, I couldn't put a number out of it. It's, it's got to be thousands. You know, was a, the two in this boys, twins. You know, Matthew, James, and their younger brother, David. Between them, schoolboy title, youth title, senior titles. Boy Scout titles, they won 28 Welsh titles for this club. Just three brothers, you know. And I, I can go on, I can go on, Brett Styles, you know. This four is all about the shop here, you know, of, of different people. You know, they, they, they all won, because what I say is, or what I ask, uh, I learned a hard, fast lesson. I represented Wales quite a few times, won a few Welsh titles, and all I've got is one dirty Welsh vest left. And that's when I used to train him when I was a boxer. All the rest I give away. I actually give them to people. And I came up with an idea when I had the Newbridge gym. If I had a boy good enough to win two or three Welsh titles, 
I'd, I'd make it a rule with them. The first was vest is for mum and dad. The second was vest is for them. The third they can have that, do what they want to. But the third one is mine. And that goes on the wall in my club. And that's there forever, you know. I mean, that, that photo there is 1977, you know. And you go on the wall and you see it. It's 87, going back years. So like, What's your no intentions of retiring? No, not at all. I, I often feel like, I mind if I speak on it, you, you've got to speak on it. You, you can't tell people a load of rubbish. I mean, I'm beginning to be here as I get tired, and I'm sat in the chair, and I come five o'clock, and I think, well, I, I don't go down tonight. And I could possibly easily have the night off. But I've got three coaches here. They can, they've come with me since they would, they bust with one by the wood. They come through, they know exactly what I want off my boys. They know exactly how to train them. They've got some of their own ways as well, which is great. And I could have a night off, but uh, I said, I, I can't do that. So it might happen, you know, anything could happen. The lights could go. <laughs>